Hey guys, I want to make a quick video showing how to adjust the reluctor air gap on the DeLorean distributor. So if you look in the shop manual, it explains how to take apart the distributor. I replaced the impulse coil here. So because of that, I had to remove uh, the reluctor, which is part number eight. And uh, there's an air gap that you have to check between the reluctor and the magnets. So if you look at the uh, book here, it says uh, trigger stator air gap quarter of a millimeter and to use a non-magnetic feeler gauge. So that's what I've got here. This is a brass feeler gauge and this is gapped to 0.254 millimeters. So pretty damn close. It's the closest I've got. And you want to use non-magnetic because this stuff is magnetic and it's going to give you a false reading if you are using a magnetic feeler gauge you might not be able to tell if it's really gapped properly because your feeler is sticking to the magnet so what you're looking for here is the uh, air gap between the magnet here and the reluctor right here so when it's at its closest point like that then we can stick our feeler gauge in here and just like you're doing spark plugs it should slip it should slip right in it shouldn't be loose but it shouldn't take any effort really to put it in so this one's gapped pretty well let's check the other one over here this one I feel like I can put it in a little bit too easy so we need to close the gap and the way you do that just turn the reluctor out of the way. Take some needle nose pliers and we're just going to very slightly bend it in just a fraction of a hair and then we'll move it again into position and we'll check again with our gauge a little bit better but I think I can go a little closer And you definitely don't want the reluctor to hit the magnet. And you can check, you know, the other pins on the reluctor here. Make sure that make sure that one of these didn't get bent, right? Because if you remove the reluctor from the distributor, uh, even though this thing is pretty beefy metal, um, you could have bent it by getting a screwdriver under here and prying it off so you do want to check all the way around alright not too difficult 